everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Let's look at the management policy, the horrible, horrible management policy. Let's see if they're trying to fix something. Let's see what they have to say here when it comes to any colors management. They're looking over here. It says, you know, they're going to hire talent talented people and they're going to actively they see the policy for addressing the risks that they have with uh you know human resources that re pr pr people will not go in because of the fact that you know the company has more more competition people are more you know iffy about the company because of things that have been happening uh they say they strive to enhance training programs on the right side in addition to training through work that employees can fully demonstrate their abilities after being hired and then you have um the whole thing with it being, uh, they rely on some v big VTubers, on popular VTubers. They're trying to develop their IP. It's centered on VTubers and a structure of revenue, uh, revenue dependent on the popularity, which is basically, it's a meritocracy, which is not a problem. But if the popularity is brought through favors that you are getting from someone who is higher up, that is no longer a meritocracy. That is what they've been accused of. And of course, there's some stuff behind my head that I will get to. Here we have the other risks. It says, while it's inescapable feature of our business, in reality, the revenue distributed among large number of VTubers, and we recognize the risk dependent on specific VTubers not likely to materialize. So the only way that they have a huge risk, of course, is if the people leave. Address the risk of VTubers moving on to the next stage of their careers by enhancing our support system and they're developing a system, but it's only because of the fact that they have had a lot of people leave and some big people leave that they are even trying to make the system start out. In the course of developing content for IP services, the reputational risks, those are like uh, defamation, that kind of stuff. They're going to strengthen the systems to respond to defamation, to respond to all of these things. At least that's what they're saying in the short term, long term, whatever you want to call it. That's what they're saying right now. It says it looked at anything and they're talking about the reputational risks, possibility of outflow of current employees from the company. Been talked about in the libraries classified as employees uh, if we look at the legal terms, but I'm pretty sure they're seen as contractors if we look at the way that um, Nidhi Sanji sees them. So it, it, it may not be talking directly about VTubers, but they did talk about the VTubers leaving. And that's one thing I wanted to mention as well. Sizable chunk of non-VTuber employees within the GEN will get laid off when the branch closes and the VTubers who don't get called culled, which is, you know, removed, will be left with an absolute minimal support structure, skeleton structure, as I've said before. Uh, management and staff support they'll get after the merger will be bad when they do get merged. And right here, we're talking about the people who did leave. Guna Murray retired in, in 2023. Uh, I Aiba Uiha did in 2023 1231. Yuki Chihiro did in 131 2024. Azuchi Momo did in 131 2024. Suzuka Utako did just recently on the 12th of June. Management policy in midterms on slide 10, where any color tells shareholders that 49% of their fiscal year 2024 is from talents who debuted before the 31st of, 31st of April in 2020. So all the ones that they are, are saying it was 49% of their revenue, a lot of them are leaving. So that's that's a big, big bad for Niti Sanji. Going on to the mergers and acquisitions area. One day, your favorite VTubers might be bought out by any cutter. These are these are things with mergers and acquisitions. They're saying we expect to have a maximum merger and acquisition budget of approximately 50 billion yen, which is about somewhere around maybe $50 million, pretty much, I think. I think it's pretty much $50 million at that point. Um, no, it's about maybe like 35, 35 million, because I know they recently did a $75 million thing, $75 billion uh, thing with uh, the buying of stocks and it was like 48 million. So something like 30, 35 million dollars they're expecting to have with cash on hand. Merger and acquisition investment funds that I mentioned earlier, as well as debt, etc. We have not factored merger and acquisitions into our medium term management plan, but we would like to consider it a good deal as it actually comes along. Do you think the possibility if that happens, would you support them? If this actually happens, I will blame you. Same. <laughs> but anyone sell to them, though? Money talks more than anything else. The real question is Niji Sanji could even cough up the money or legal team competent enough to pull a deal off. Like they might buy a VTuber company, you know, kind of like how Brave Group is doing. They may end up doing stuff like that. If they do, then it's going to be the downfall of that company because of the fact that they are someone that is a, you know, they are not seen very well, even in the business community right now. So it's not going to go well for them. Cover Corp is also eyeing merchants and acquisitions. It's in their latest shareholder Q&A. On the other hand, a silent player in the industry, Brave Group, is opening, acquiring, and collabing with small agencies left and right. I don't know if they have plans for an IPO, but they recently received another round of funding totaling 3.5 billion yen. So they're getting like another $3 million, $4 million. That's good. Brave Group. What Brave Group is doing, if Nidhi Sanji does what Brave Group does, which Brave Group, what it does, 
is it acquires companies, lets them manage themselves, but is the larger umbrella that, oh, if you need a little bit more funding, if you need some help with technical stuff, we are here type of thing. We leave you to do your own thing, but if you need us, we're here and we have the money to help you. That's what they do for the most part. Uh, it Merger and acquisitions, basically normal recruitment becomes hard because uh, the good ones are scared by needy management. They want to consider using money to buy already existing accomplished content creators for themselves. And I mean, like, like I said, money talks. Like if I was a VTuber and all of a sudden I was given... I don't know, let's say $10 million or something like that, or like a million bucks, two million bucks when I've made not anywhere near that amount to be acquired because they see me as a, you know, as someone that, that can give them money. And it's for like a year or for 10 or for two years or whatever, but they give me like a million bucks, then I might just do it. Even if it's Nidhi Sanji, I might just do it and then make another, make another account and do my own stuff there, you know, but it's, it's money talks, unfortunately, in many cases. Now, here is something that, um, can be seen as worrying or normal or whatever uh, on Kunai's side. It says, hey, rats, can't do the memby watch along, members watch along stream. We'll reschedule, might do two watch alongs next month. I haven't been active lately, so please feel free to unmembership until I'm back. Go buy yourself a treat until your membership actually gets you something to watch. Very nice of them. Maybe that's a little dig at Nidhi Sanji. Maybe that's reading too far into it. We will see. Uh, honestly, it's a really considerate statement to be made. Exactly. It's amazing. It shows a lot more on how good kunai is how um good of an individual they are the uh ethics morals and just personality of the person kunai i hope she's okay given how little the girls at ttt make off their streams they might as well not bother streaming at all and find another job while the contracts run out which is well over a year left it really does suck that's one that's one stickler that i've had if in any color nidhi sanji would properly support their talents then of course I wouldn't be going so hard on them, but they don't. Look at TTT. You have Kunai who's amazing. You have Vivi who wanted to be there because of the Oshis and is doing as much as they can. Cloud has a, had a lot of um, foot in mouth moments, sticking their foot in their mouth, but I don't blame them either because if you're part of a company that you really wanted to be with for a long time, you could be drinking the Kool-Aid a lot. I understand that side. I'm less against the livers and less against the talents than I am against the actual organization and the horrible things they do to those talents. Look at the Noth. The Noth isn't really getting supported too much either. They're probably going to end up like another TTT. And that's sad. That's what I don't want. I want people like Kunai, Vivi, and anyone who deserves, they all deserve to be out there. They deserve to be outside of it and getting the, the support that they, to news. We're going on to the, the Niku Niku Doga. We'll be down for over a month due to a ransomware attack. They were being attacked, but they didn't mention what it was before. Now they said that it is a ransomware attack. Official press release right over here. And it is on the blog. Here is a translated version of what we have here. It says, report an apology regarding cyber attacks on our services. As announced, they had, you know, they announced that they were going to be down until June 16th. According to that, after confirming the cyber attack, we immediately took emergency measures, such as shutting down relevant servers, set up a task force for full investigation. Uh, we sincerely apologize to our users, concerned parties, and convenience of stuff. 3.30 a.m. on June 8th, a malfunction occurred to prevent all of our web services from happening, including Nico Nico and preparatory school services from functioning normally. A force was set up to do everything. They have everything down here. Investigation begun. It was confirmed that the cause of the outage was encryption by ransomware. So they got ransomware encrypted. Uh, <clears throat> services, some of the company's internal business systems were suspended and the servers were shut down. They established a task force. They made a first report. They contacted the police. The office was closed. The, the Kadokawa announces outages from Kadokawa Group websites. Report of the Personal Information Protection Commission because there might have been some personal information that was damaged, that was actually affected by all of this. Second report situation when Nico Nico service is unavailable. June 12th reported the outage to the Kanto Regional Finance Bureau. Uh, and then this announcement popped here. Cause was a private cloud service built on data protection, the Nico Nico stuff. Uh, and it does, it's a part of Kadokawa Group Company. Our company belongs, the Nico Nico belongs to Kadokawa, which is a big group in Japan. Cyber attack by a third party was repeated after it was discovered. And even after the server in the private cloud was shut down recently, a third party was observed to be remotely starting the server again. So they had remote access and they were trying to remotely start it in an attempt to spread the infection. As a result, we physically had to disconnect. They had to physically pull the power because someone had that kind of remote activity there. All servers installed in data centers provided group companies become unusable. In addition to prevent further spread, we have prohibited our employees from coming to the Kabizuka, Kabuz, Kabukiza office in, on, in principle. So yeah, they were doing a bunch of things. Most of the video data, video distribution systems were not affected, but they did affect a lot of other systems. The, the uh, Nico Nico live broadcasting was not affected, but some of their you know data centers were. Uh, suspended services, family services, such as Nico Nico Video, Live Broadcast, Nico Nico Channel, 
the account login or external services, mu music monetization service, Duango ticket, some features of Duango JP store, and preparatory school was restored for students in N high school and S high school, North high school and South high school, uh, sending gifts for various projects. Outlook, it is, you know, they're hoping that they can get the data back safely and everything can be gotten without having that access be restored to the people who did this stuff. And, um, you know, depending on the results of the investigation, things may be done quickly or not. They're expecting about a month of outage. Continue to investigate the extent of damage to the scope. The measures already done is suspended use of affected devices, resetting all accounts, uh, compensation, monthly membership fee for premium members and Nico Nico channel paid members will be uh, either refunded or, you know, extended and preparatory school monthly membership fee, revenue distribution for the operators. All of that stuff will be compensated to them. Uh, related programs about the news version, all this stuff, you know, basically it's an about section, but yeah, that's what they're saying. They were hit by a ransomware attack where they had enough control of the servers that they were able to remotely start them up again, which is very dangerous in a ransomware attack, which can help them, you know, spread the ransomware. So they had to actually physically disconnect a lot of these servers, physically, you know, stop the connection. And that was, that's pretty rough. Hopefully they continue doing well and hopefully they uh, see betterment in everything that's going on. And, you know, things are going to be well, I think. And people are like, holy crap, overall, it's bad because my help consolidate services. I really don't want YouTube and Twitch to dominate. The only NND link is a news section. So they're going to bring it back up. But right now, YouTube is your best bet, unfortunately, or fortunately, whichever way you see it, have been working hard for. This one is saying need to make up their mind if they want to keep hating on Doki. First tweet says that Doki addressed the toxic people in her fan base, but they don't listen to her. Second tweet says that Doki didn't properly address her fan base, but was able to toxicity. Uh, sisters like this pretend to care about Doki, but they don't really care. They just care about having them either be the evil person or the angel that they need to protect. Uh, Doki can protect herself. Doki can do what she needs for herself. And uh, you don't need to be the one defending her, of course. Doki speaking up about this S and watch people still ignore her because they never cared about her to begin with. She's just their token liver, just sending hate. Uh, they don't give an, give an F about what she thinks. They just care about being able to be foul people for her sake. This is May, another VTuber, and uh, or at least another person that's in the VTuber field, field and says, I'll be honest though, a statement of hers is, hmm, glad she said something, but it's too happy-go-lucky. It's too, let's be, let's be the focus here, uh, focus on the future. Like, no, hold your audience accountable, be direct, don't baby them, be firm. It's like, you can't do that either because not all your audience is the one that's causing the drama that we're talking about. The recent drama with the bad Doki Bird um, video that I put in my last video, in my most recent video before this one, uh, that basically I didn't like the, it, it seemed in poor taste more than anything. It seemed like maybe it had some xenophobic caricatures going on there, which I didn't approve. I didn't like. A person has the right to do that. And of course, the person that did it removed it, deleted it, changed it because they ended up getting a lot of hate. They ended up getting a lot of hate from a lot of people, uh, even Doki, Doki lovers, Doki enjoyers. They ended up getting hate for that uh, because it was just bad. And uh, if you can look at the last video uh, for that. But yeah, it was really bad. I'm glad that they deleted it. I'm glad that they changed it to Mint and Doki dancing, but still, you made a mistake, own up to it, instead of saying, oh, I uploaded a corrupted file, be like, look, I did something in poor taste, I apologize, I shouldn't have had that be public, and then move on, and then everyone would be fine. But no, you try to pretend like it was a corrupted file, and it was a, and it was something you needed to get off your chest. You could have gotten it off your chest with just regular people. Like you, you could have done it with for friends or something like that, not put it on a public Twitter, which you knew was going to be found. Things like this need a little bit of context. But here's we have remember Albin Knox. He took a bit of a break because he was doing it for uh, professional development, you know, learning the language a bit more, learning Japanese a bit more, learning singing a bit more, maybe doing some dancing classes, maybe some stuff like that, doing something for themselves. And people are saying Albin got suspended, Albin totally graduating. There's no way he's coming back. We found out later with Albin actually saying something. Yes, there's always a risk always a risk when they say they're taking a break that they actually got suspended that they're actually thinking of leaving that is something that yes we can make it as a rumor i always marked it as a rumor uh but yeah people are silly haven't actually watched my explanation stream and they're going to look really really dumb when i come back stronger than ever hopefully it does come back better than ever that's my hope i hope that the professional development helps and then helps him when he leaves, whenever he does decide to leave Nidhi Sanji. Some people are literally blinded by hate. No matter perspective can help the confusion like that. Sadly, I'll say it again. Learn to focus your efforts on people and communities that make you happy. You don't have to get along with every single person. Very true. Uh, you meet. You can try, but it's not always easy because we're all learning different t different rates. Uh, love people and enjoy life from hate. It's really hard taking a break as a creator. For me, at least, it's dumb, but I always feel extremely bad and stressed about it. Oh boy, that is the way I feel. 
that's why that's why I've been going hard for the last like three or four months uh, of no rest for the wicked type of thing. I've been on a streak. I guess you can call it a streak of 120 days or so. But yeah, that's that's a streak that I don't recommend for anybody. But I like it, so I have fun. Uh, but you guys are always so patient and pathetic. I'm grateful for that. Thank you for giving us the room to make healthy choices. A reminder to be kind and careful of misinformation. Look after yourselves. So yeah, this is all here. He put it over here. All this stuff right here done by him. So it's not someone taking, like actually creating words for him. It's not someone taking things out of context. Uh, it's kind of funny how people always think that the situation is better than the people who likely witnessed it. Like if you're, yeah, first person is always better than third person uh, later accounts. And here is his continuation of this saying, please stop trying to control people who dis you disagree with. Everyone has their own unique perspectives in life. I think that if you're doing your best to show support through love rather than hate, then you're on the right track. That should be enough. I want people to be happy. I do too. That's why I try to spend, spread just, yes, the information out there. Yes, criticism, but not hate. That's why I always say, do not harass. Do not send, even if I say things negative about somebody, do not use that as fuel to go and harass somebody, please. Certainly doesn't look good when people swear up and down that they're not like that and then act exactly like needy fans. You say, act, basically you're acting like the people you don't like, and that's not good. And also remember, Doki Bird always says, don't don't harass people. Don't send harassment. She, Doki Bird and others who are gone don't want you to continue the cycle that caused them so much pain. I don't know if he's responding to what happened today or recently or coincidence, um, since it's like this every now and then, but it's good to keep words in mind, support Doki, and just enjoy their content. Don't go to the content that you dislike. Don't focus on them. Focus on the people who make the content that you love. You know, and um, it's it could be related to the things that, I, that I've talked about in other videos. Could be related to a lot of the new stuff that's happening. You don't know. But please, just be kind to others. That's my my main takeaway. So long, maybe next time, a fair journalist rather than a black company simp, according to this person. This is about Ducky, a writing VTuber, Ducky VT. It says, TLDR, I'm stepping back from writing about VTubers once I finish my current backlog. I'm not taking on new projects unless the topic really interests me. VTubing ate me whole and spat me out. And I need time to recover and re-energize. That's always good. It's good to re-energize. It's good to have that. But people are saying here, of course, he was a hardcore defending Niji, hardcore Niji uh, fan, Niji defender, etc. And, um... He thought they could do no wrong. And then also he went to Mel back, uh, DreamHack Melbourne. And he specifically was like, you know, simping for Hololive there. So he was back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, so that's one thing that people didn't like. That's one thing people didn't like. And uh, they were kind of, you know, hitting them hard for that. Just a cloud chaser. That's what people say. That's what people said about me too. So I don't know. Uh, sounds like the tech tone of VTubing. I'm out of the loop of tech tone. What happened to him? Uh, I was basically stirring S as usual. Uh, he gets in the game, make drama, salty, and leaves. At least this one's entertaining. I mean, memory refresh. He prays DreamHack Melbourne. So it looks he tried, looks like he tries to be on the strongest side. Uh, context be good right now. Context would be great if I had never heard of this guy before. Uh, the big context uh, this person put out here. Why isn't it out going out? Uh, okay. Ducky is stopping journalism for some time. It says right there in the screenshot. All you ever need to do in the past weeks in the subreddit is whine and moan. Oh, God. This person got angry. He got angry. But pretty much, yeah, this person was seen as, as someone moving on one side to the other side to the other side. There's a reason he carved out the tiniest, tiniest niche for himself among tribalists who will eat up anything that dishes out praise for Niji. It's because he doesn't have that. Oh, that they, they, now they're going out for uh for um ad hominem attacks, which uh it doesn't really work well if you just attack the person instead of the, the the message. Attack the message more than you attack the person. That's what I like to do at least. Remember when this guy claimed that some Luxium off collab would smash VTubing records and then it got mogged by some random fool Moko stream. So yeah, he was basically uh notoriously quoted Nidhi's AR Live as the greatest VTubing event ever. So he's that guy. Uh, despite example of Hololive having numerous well-received 3D events. In short, he just sides with whatever good side will get him views, uh, which, whichever thing is more convenient. And if you, if you look at my most recent video, I don't do that. I've gotten a lot of hate for my most recent one, but that's the way it goes. People are going to dislike your stuff. And I love having those type of conversations where people dislike stuff and I can, you know, have some discussion back and forth. This is a little bit more of the independent VTuber news. Uh, we're talking about a Japanese VTuber here who was trying to be a seiyuu, which is a voice actress in Japan, you know, for anime and things like that. She was doing well. I mean, things were seemed to go well, but I think her manager betrayed her from what the story is. She was about to start a successful voice actress career, but her manager betrayed her and she lost her job. I'm a full on about her stream in July. I hope you guys will agree. I hope that she gets what she wants. Yua Uno is the name of the person. Here we go. And I'm going to, you know, have this here with, with uh, closed captions so you guys can see everything. Oh, 
から苦節5年仕事は順調独立も果たした声優になってから毎日が楽しくてみんなの笑顔のために頑張るんだそう思ってたのにマネージャーの裏切り取り消されていく仕事私って何のために頑張ってきたんだろう何のために生きて That's sad. Yes. ユアちゃんへユアちゃんの声が大好きですいつかまた会えるのを楽しみにしてます私もう一度頑張りたーい宇野ユア個人 VTuber 指導見てくれた人を私の声で笑顔にしてみせるから見守っててね初配信7月5日金曜日20時から I'm loving it. I'm loving it because this is taking a negative and making it into a positive using her voice that she has as a say you, everything like that, and make it into a positive. Yes, she was betrayed, but she didn't just be like, ah,、oh, you know, feel bad for herself and just drop herself to the bottom. I'm pretty sure there was depression in there. I'm pretty sure there w a s low moments. I'm not minimizing what she went through, but I'm glad that she is bringing something positive out, this, out of this. And I really, really, truly hope that she is very successful in this new career choice that she's taking because say yous do really well. Well, as VTubers, and she seems to have a positive attitude. Love it. Just wanted to remind you guys that yes, you can make things negative into a positive, and there are ways for you to, you know, better、uh, channel that energy. And I hope that everyone has a wonderful day, of course. This is a new VTuber agency, at least new to me, VTuber agency. They don't have 7K followers. They started on February 2024.、Uh, Socks, Sokka Agency, or Socks Agency.、Um, they're having, they're showing their new、uh, people here. They're Enis. And、uh, they're Kami Soul person. So they're showing their new people here.、Uh, Snoozy, unregistered Hypercam 2. They're even making fun of it. And then Kami Soul, which is,、uh, you know, a shirt. I think it's shirt in, in Italian, I think. Live now on Twitter.、Uh, ni- uh, Inis Line.、Uh, yeah, they're, they're basically they're, they're, they're showing their new、uh, generation here, which is good to have. It's good to have more competition in the VTuber market when it comes to larger organizations. You know, those types of things. Kami Soul has their Voca.ro thing. They're already having、um, art stuff. You know, Sox Art Director, Ian's Lane, and、uh, Snoozy Chu officially joining SVA. Can't wait to draw Kami both. So they're doing, they're doing drawings here. They're doing all these drawings here for both. Here is their Voca.ro stuff. Here's Snoozy.、They're, they are a, it looks like they are some kind of、uh, fish, some kind of orca, some kind of fish shark thingy. So there's that. And they're, you know, they're already doing these types of things. So, the SVA stream and Twitch. So, they're doing it Twitch, it looks like more than anything. And、uh, here is the drawing that they have here. So, it's looking good. I hope the best for both of them. I hope the best for all three of them. And I hope that they are very successful in their endeavors because that means that more people are going to be joining that agency and more competition, as I say. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord, there's Twitter, there's other places that you can check me out, Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.